Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to yet another episode of JTE, or in other words, just text effects. It's a 10 episode mini series where we teach you everything you really need to know about text and how to manipulate it, how to really make it look good on screen for very particular atmospheres, I should say. We are on episode nine, guys. This is the second to last episode. The next one is the last one. Now, I'm not saying that there's nothing else after this. I'm not saying that there's nothing to learn about text once this series is over. But the goal was not to like cram your head with everything I know and expect you to just be well off for the rest of your life. This was supposed to be a super interesting kickstart into the world of text. What you can do with it, especially mostly in Premiere Pro and After Effects. But there's so many other things you can do with it. And this is for like video too. Like you could do so much with Photoshop and Illustrator, make logos and interesting fonts for yourself. So it doesn't end here and I don't want you guys to feel that way. But I thought that these are the 10 most common or interesting or fun ways to learn about text. And the next episode is gonna be a bit of a surprise, so I'm not gonna tell you what it is just yet. Today, though, I'm gonna have you focus on the typewriter text effect. So this effect is specifically used for anytime someone's using a keyboard to write something out, either on a laptop, a typewriter, their tablet or their phone or whatever. This would be perfect for that. So let's just give you a view of what the end product looks like before we just dive into this. And uh, that way you can have a good image of what your end product should be by the time this video is done. Let's get it started. Let's just hop into the computer and uh, let's make this thing possible. Basically, you're gonna wanna make a white screen and the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna go make a text and uh, make a massive white rectangle, color it white and make that as the background. Then you're gonna make your actual text, make sure it's black so it looks good against the screen. And the reason we're making the screen white is because when you're on the keyboard or your phone or tablet or laptop or even the typewriter, you're writing on white background. The paper is white or Google Docs is white or your notepad on your phone is white or brown or something like that. It's never black unless you're in like, I don't know, iPhone dark mode. But this is, this is stuff. This is normal stuff. So. Just get your head with the program, make it white, make the text black. Don't question it, uh, don't think too much about it, just do it. Once you made the text, you're gonna hop into effects and look up the effect linear wipe. You're gonna add that onto the text layer. And if you play it through, you'll see that it's actually going in the wrong direction, unless you're doing a language that goes right to left instead of left to right, like Hebrew or something like that. In that case, you can keep it, but we're doing English. So we're going to fix it and make the angle 270 degrees. And that should fix it, flip flop it so that it's reading uh, left to right. Once this is done, uh, it looks really good. We're like halfway there. The last thing we need to do is make the cursor that uh, moves across the screen with it. So what are you gonna do? is you're gonna make a black video. You can hit this little ad page on the bottom, click black video, and just add it on top of the text and the background. And you're gonna have a black, a black screen for a moment. But we're gonna change that and we're gonna make this massive black rectangle a thin stick to act as the cursor. In order to do this, you're going to uncheck uniform scale. And what that means is that if you were to scale it now, it would scale the whole thing and keep it the same ratio. But we want to make it thinner and shorter, but not keep it the same ratio. We want it to be a stick like that, like a long stick. So uncheck uniform scale and make the width 0.3 and make the height 10. And now you have your cursor. What you're going to want to do from here is you're going to go to the very beginning to the, when the first letter pops up and you're going to make a keyframe and you're going to position the cursor right next to it as if it just typed it out. Hey, we're going to go all the way to the end 
to when the text is all written out. We're only going to go one frame after and we're going to make sure that the cursor is after everything. And if you did it right, the cursor should be following the text perfectly. Now, the last step to make this look as realistic as possible. This looks great, it really does, and you could stop here if you'd like, but as we all know, cursors blink. I'm in and out of the opacity, so we're gonna do that. So we're going to, we're gonna go to the first frame of our cursor, and we're going to hit the stopwatch on opacity. I'm gonna make it zero. You're gonna go up four frames and make it 100% opacity. Then, four more frames and make it zero again. Then you're going to re rinse and repeat, basically. Just copy and paste until it fills the entire thing. You see that? All of these frames right here, all of these frames, that's going in and out of opacity. This would be your finished product. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. So, I will see you guys in the next episode of Just Text Effects, and I hope that this series has been awesome and amazing all the way to the end. So, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications for the next episode so you don't miss out. And that's it, guys. Ciao.